The Samsung Galaxy S23 series would launch early next year. As Samsung is expected to host its Galaxy Unpacked event in February, the Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus are likely to get incremental upgrades and design changes, while the top-of-the-line Galaxy S23 Ultra, on the other hand, will get a new camera system alongside a bunch of other upgrades. Galaxy S23 Ultra can shoot amazing photos and videos, and this new 200-megapixel sensor on the S23 Ultra has a dramatic improvement in night mode performance as well. Samsung is enhancing the 3x and 10x telephoto zoom, where we will see the clean images with better color processing. The best of Samsung's 200-megapixel sensor can take sharper and more brighter images in low light. Now these photos are shared by ICE Universe. And you guys can see I'm as of difference in early lead camera symbol of Galaxy S23 Ultra, along with the S22 Ultra. Clearly you can see that. These images were short and quite low light environment and the S23 Ultra has noticeably sharper photo with better focus. On top of that, Samsung S23 Ultra camera module is showing off slight design change like a raised edge on the corner versus the flat lens on the S22 Ultra. The every Galaxy S23 is going to be using the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 globally. And there's going to be no more Exynos. Ice Universe on Twitter and even the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has a 35% faster CPU and a 25% faster GPU. So this should be even better on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Not only that but their focus this time around has been on efficiency and this means that we're going to see an even longer battery life. So who can complain about that? The Galaxy S23 Ultra is coming with the next-generation fingerprint scanner from Qualcomm, and this improves on an already great fingerprint scanner that we had in the predecessor. It's going to be using Qualcomm's new third-generation scanner which is not only more secure and accurate, but it should be able to unlock the phone much faster than before. There were early rumors that it would in fact use Qualcomm's 3D Sonic Max scanner. That has a much larger area for fingerprint, but according to Ice Universe on Twitter, the fingerprint area remains the same so this confirms that it's not going to be the case. It's a shame that we're not getting this larger one, but at least we are getting some improvements. So, without been said, let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, peace out.